The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Before, we're asked to simplify, well, it doesn't have to, but in this, it's implying to simplify the following uh, expression. So we have x minus, we have the cube root of x to the sixth, which is then, and then we're taking the square root of that. So you have to work inside out on these. So first, let's deal with this part because x is obviously going to stay there. So in first, we need to deal with what is the cube root of x to the sixth. Well, we need to write it as something cubed, and then it would go away. So x to the sixth could be written as x squared cubed, because when you take your power to another power, you multiply those. So we can write this as x squared cubed. And then when you have something that's cubed inside a cube root, that just destroys the cube root, essentially, and gets rid of that power also. So now we're at x minus just the square root of x squared. So here's where the, the tricky part comes in. The square root of x squared is not just x, because we have an even power here. So for example, let's say x was negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4, and the square root of 4 is 2. So even though our x is negative 2, that expression gave us 2. But if we plugged in 2 for x, 2 squared is 4, the square root of 4 is 2, then it's fine. So no matter what we plug in, positive or negative, we always get the positive answer out. So that's an absolute value. So we can simplify that to that x minus absolute value of x, which is answer choice B on your paper. So be careful. Now, with this one, we were allowed to just get rid of this because it was an odd root and an odd power. We add it to the third cube root. That can only ever have one answer, unlike even roots. So we can get rid of that, no questions asked. However, when you have an even root, you have to be careful if you have an even power underneath. You might end up having to do an absolute value, like in this case. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.